hit the like and subscribe button if this video helps you out this is the bird feeder station we built last year one year later it's the spring in Ohio also slammed a fire pit in so this video is going to show you how we build it and hopefully save you some money and make it a little easier for you so thanks for watching this one wasn't even on my list I gotta put two posts in one there one kind of where this bird feeder is and then run two two by sixes on the top so Jen can hang stuff to feed the squirrels and the birds and all that so kind of windy out I gotta bust out my salt and some concrete for the post holes. That's the mission. What's up, Finny? What are you doing? You hiding? What's up, buddy? Please, please, no boots here. cherry trees here that's two poles there first one I screwed up of course all right here we are Ben's over there shellacking the uh, posts I had to dig one two three four five holes in order to find two good holes that didn't have roots in them I got everything balanced. I'm not even gonna have to cut the tops of these. So we're getting ready to put the concrete in, quick creep, and add a little water and let these things set some seven foot apart. Hopefully this won't sag in the middle. It's flipping windy. I got my poles in, I got my concrete in. And the facing boards are gonna go right there. We could do all kinds of stuff with it. We could put more stuff in the center and build a shelf. Right. Finnegan's pulling guard duty over there. Finnegan. It's a little windy, he doesn't like the wind. Waiting for the concrete to set. I mean, they feel pretty sturdy, but I put a bag of uh, 25 pounds of uh, quick in each hole. Board winds up. I'm gonna level it now. This thing's done in concept. It's gonna be hanging plants, squirrel feeder, all kinds of stuff's gonna be hanging off this. I gotta get some four by four to put in the center here. Maybe two or three pieces. 
That's it. Hit the like and subscribe button if this helps you out.